Hey guys, how's it going? Now in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create a C++ program to implement the newton Raphson method of root finding. So it might be useful if you are taking a numerical analysis class and probably they would require you to create a, either a C++ program or any other program in any other language to implement this root newton Raphson method of root finding. So let's go through the algorithm first of all. So the algorithm is pretty easy um, as uh, is the case with almost all the numerical methods. First we will require an initial guess from the user and that would be x. Then we will ask the user to you know specify the desired accuracy of the result. For example, let's say the actual root is 0.0234. And may, but maybe the user just wants an accuracy of 0 0.01. In that case, um, the root return would be like 0 0.02. And we will skip the rest of the decimal points. Then the third step of the algorithm is to is a repetitive um, is a repetitive step. That is, it will be inside a loop. And what is uh, done in the loop is we calculate a new x that is xn and the formula of xn is the initial value that is x minus f of x that is the value of the function at that initial guess then di that divided by the derivative of the function at that x that is the initial value. Um, if it's not clear from here then just go to the Wikipedia page of Newton's method and here is the you know, formula of newton raphson method. So uh, the new x would be the initial guess, that is x0, or in my case, which is x minus f of x, where f is a function whose root we need to, you know, find. So the value of the function at that initial guess divided by the derivative of the function at that initial guess, all right? Now we will need to have this step, uh, we will need to repeat this step a number of times until this new x that we are finding that is xn that and the previous value of x that is um, the initial guess for the first time is less than equal to the accuracy that is desired by the user all right so we will repeat this third step until the new x is uh, not greater than x by F EPS, that is the epsilon or the desired accuracy, you know. Uh, what I mean by EPS is the desired accuracy, all right, so that is that. Now, once we have found a value of xn that is not greater than x by EPS, that is epsilon, then we will print that xn and that would be our rule. Now, here is the flow chart. So just start the program, have the user enter the x, have the user enter the epsilon, that is a desired accuracy, then calculate xn by this formula, and then check whether xn minus x is less than or equal to epsilon. If it is less than or equal to epsilon, then just print the result, that is your root, otherwise just repeat the process, all right? So that is a pretty basic flowchart. Now let's just go through the C++ program, okay. So this is my C++ program. Now let me just switch over to Linux because C++ programs run better in Linux or rather I don't have any, you know, C++ compiler on my Windows. So let's just run us. Uh, okay, so here is the uh, program for newton Raphson method. Just include some of the basic libraries. I included the CMAT. Uh, library in case I'm, I'm, I have a function that is using square roots or power as in this case. Now one more thing that I would like to tell you is that uh, a newton raphson method is po more popularly used for a transcendental equation. Now what a transcendental equation is, is that it contains terms like uh, you know sinusoidal terms or it, um, it will have some you know well, basically it contains the trigonometric terms and maybe like the hyperbolic functions, sin h, cos h, and like that. So equations that have these terms, like trigonometric terms or maybe exponential terms, they are known as um, 
transcendental equations. Now, since uh, C++ program uh, that we will be making is would be pretty basic, so it won't have a library that uh, could be used to find the derivative of any given function. And since you know that newton raphson method is dependent on uh, having a uh, you know, derivative, uh, having an equation of the derivative of the function as you can see from this equation, we need a function that uh, has the definition of the derivative of the function. Now since C++ doesn't already have uh, you know, derivative finding functionality is built in. So what we are going to do is, we will need to have to define a derivative of a function. So let's say I want to find the root of a function or root of an equation that is 3x plus sin x minus e. Uh, since uh, this is the value of e, so I, I have just used that. So power 2.71828 that is e comma x means e to the power x all right so it would be 3x plus sine of x minus e to the power x so this is the equation that we need to uh, find the root of now okay i i think i skipped some of the part here so let me just continue back from that all right then we'll i'll come to that part okay so First of all, the equation that uh, whose root I need to find, I will uh, define that in a function called f, and it will take up only one argument, that is x. Then I have given this definition of that equation whose root uh, I need to find, that would be the definition of this function f. Then I have defined another function f prime that will hold the definition of the derivative of this equation. Now, clearly the derivative of this equation is 3 plus cos x minus e to the power x. So that would be that equation 3 plus cos x minus e to the power x would be the definition of this function f prime. So the function f returns the original equation whose root is to be found and function f prime returns the derivative of the equation whose root is to be found. So these, this step is pretty basic and crucial to begin our program. So that is why you can see they are before intimate and they are before anything, um, before starting anything with our program because we need the definition of the function and also its derivative. Now once you start the fun, uh, program, um, um, these are some of the variables that I declared then I, uh, you know, uh, set the precision to be only 4 because I um, I will be displaying, you know, a kind of table like you can see here, the value, initial value of x, the next value of x, and I don't want it to be, you know, showing me a lot of numbers. So I just uh, restricted the decimal precision to 4. So that is what C outdoor precision 4 is for. And similarly, C outdoor set f i o s fixed, uh, you know, just sets it for all every for all the variables sets the precision for all the variables then I ask the user to enter an initial guess then I input that initial guess in a variable called x1 then I have asked the user to enter the desired accuracy and I have stored that in a variable called e that would take up the desired accuracy and then these two lines are not needed so let me just go ahead and delete those okay now this is this line you can ignore for the moment as it is just for formatting purposes as I will be displaying the value of x um, i then the x i plus 1 would refer to the next value of x calculated after using the formula of Newton Raphson method and then we will display the difference in the newer value of x versus the older value of x alright so uh, these three columns I'm going to show so it is just uh, for heading of each and every column so just uh, skip this line for the moment and then you go to this uh, loop that we have here okay I guess I messed it up a little all right so in the do loop what we are doing is we are setting x equal to x1 that was the initial guess that I asked the user to enter then I made fx equal to f of x and since x is equal to the initial guess 
So it is basically fx is equal to f of x1. That is the value of the function at the initial value, initial guess. Then I made a new variable fx1 equal to f prime of x, which is the derivative of the function of the equation at x. And since x is equal to x1, that is the initial guess. So basically, fx1 is the value of the derivative of the equation at x1, which is the initial guess. Then what I have done is I have made x, I have changed x1, which till now was the initial guess, but now I have changed x1 using the formula of the newton raphson method, that is initial guess, since x is now x1, so x is the initial guess, so initial guess minus f of x divided by f prime of x since fx is equal to f of x and fx1 is equal to f prime of x. So this is the newton raphson formula at play here and that is calculating a newer value of x which um, would be the next initial guess for the next iteration. So then what I have done is I have printed the newer uh, or the or rather the initial guess, the older value of x, then the newer value of x, and then what I have done is abs x1 minus x, that is the difference, the absolute difference between the newer value of x versus the older value of x. And I have put all these steps under a for loop, uh, I'm sorry, under a do while loop, where the while condition is that until the difference between x1 and x, x that is the newer value of x and the older value of x is greater or equal to the desired accuracy. So until the uh, desired accuracy has been achieved this process will keep on repeating itself and once this condition is fulfilled or rather uh, you know once this condition evaluates to false that means that we have found our root and since x1 is always the newer value of x therefore we will print that that is the root of the equation is x1. So in this example, I'm using an equation 3x plus sine x minus e to the power x. And let's just save our program and see how it uh, you know, runs in our terminal. So let me just clear the screen, then just compile this program and just run it. So it asks me for an initial guess. And let's say I enter 3. Then it asks me for a desired accuracy. So let's say I want a pretty accurate result. So I'll enter 0.0001. So when I hit enter, what I see is it takes the initial guess, then uses the newton raphson method to find a newer value of x that is slightly lesser than this. Then it checks, um, I'm sorry, then it checks to see whether this difference between these two values of x is less than the desired accuracy or not. But since uh, the accuracy is pretty small, and uh, the desired accuracy is pretty small, so this condition evaluates to false and it goes to the second step. Then the second step it uses the newer value of x as the initial value and finds a much more newer value of x then compares the difference between the two 0.3564 sees that um, sees that it is very greater than the desired accuracy that is 0 0.01 so it again goes to the third step and keeps on doing that until here you see that we had pretty good accuracy here, but still it was larger than our previous, uh, our desired accuracy. So it again repeated the step, and now we have uh, an accuracy of almost zero, and thus the required root is 1.89. All right, so that is how this program works. And another great thing is that you can find different roots of uh, equation depending upon the different initial guess you enter. Now, since 3 was rather closer to 1.89, therefore, it, uh, you know, it, uh, it uh, converts to the uh, nearest root, that is 1.89. However, if I run this program again with an initial value of 0, and then I get the root as 0 0.3604, which is another root of this equation, that is 3x plus sine x minus e to the power x has two roots that is 1.89 and 0.3604 and this program will converge to any of the root depending on the initial guess so that's how it works and in case you're wondering if the program is correct or not if it evaluated the correct results or not then i 
already checked the result on growth frame alpha and here I entered the equation as 3x plus sin x e to the power minus e to the power x and when you calculate the roots um, it returns that it has two roots that is 0 0.3604 and 1.89 alright so that's how the program for Newton reaction method in C++ works so well that's it and I already have blogged this uh, program and all this algorithm on my website dragonoff.com and I will be sure to uh, you know uh, put the links in the description of the video so just make sure you if you want some more help regarding this tutorial just go there and check them out thanks for watching and have a nice day and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want more stuff like this and like the video if you liked it bye